Thank you for joining us on the Media Show Live on the Oko Television International. We'll be talking about seashells today. Are you ready for an adventure of a lifetime? Look no further than seashells, a captivating country that promises to leave you mesmerized. From its breathtaking landscapes to its rich cultural textile, this enchanting destination has something for every traveler. Whether you are a nature lover, history buff, or simply seeking a unique and off the beaten path experience, Seashells is waiting to be explored. So let's go pack your bags and go to Seashells and have fun. I have Tony in the studio with me. Welcome to As usual. As if you can do this show without me. Yes, I can. You I can do can this alone and it will be perfect with or without argue you. On this set. Because <sighs> the, the truth is obvious it is apparent it is just so evident that linda ikeji aka philip <laughs> wow why can't show. it be linda philip aka ikeji i don't understand linda <laughs> you cannot do this show without me okay let's not argue about this we part argue, but it's, it's, um, it's not a problem it's because you know that it's more like we I am the <laughs> life of the party man okay you can have it let's yeah, not yeah, argue you no can't problem. argue it Anyways, talking about seashells, it's Let me actually. Let you first before we talk about seashells. Oh, okay. You look dashing. Thank you. You look giving. You look astonishing. Thank you. Very much. You know they say um, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. So are you the beholder? Wait, calm down. I haven't finished. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I must say and confess to you that your beauty lies in the eyes of everybody. <laughs> Not just in Why is it? <laughs> So, in other words, I'm for everybody, right? <laughs> I'm for everybody and I'm for nobody. I didn't nobody. say that. I didn't say that. Anyways, thank I you for the compliment. Yeah, and you do look good as well. Uh -uh, of course not. Did they try, Sha? Did they go see Sha? Did they try, Sha? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it's actually interesting to talk about seashells. Why? Because um, when you talk about the people of seashells, is it's more like um, they are different because they are welcoming they can put a smile on your face mm -hmm. they can actually accommodate you when you come especially to tourists because i just realized that a lot of people will want to travel to a particular country because they want to do one or two things maybe business or maybe just to have fun and all of that but then they don't just make you look like you're a stranger they don't just make you feel like a stranger but rather they welcome you and then they show you the right things to do why am I saying this? Um, people will tend to tell you they want to travel to a particular country because they feel like they can just do business in such a place. But then, how can you travel to a country that you cannot even do business with them? How can you travel to a country that will not even welcome you? How can you travel to a country that they will make you feel like you don't even belong or rather you can't even do anything with them? I'm excited to talk about seashells today because it's one of the countries I want to go to because of the islands. I think they have above 1,000 islands. True. Like, just imagine like different islands where you can just find yourself like you can just want to go to maybe you just need um maybe you just need a vacation or rather you just need somewhere that you just to want to relax do you understand like why would you think of seashells like i said if you're just joining us please we're, we're talking about seashells today please join us so we can tell you more about seashells i don't know what do you like about like seashells? they they're actually kind <clears throat> and aside the fact that they are kind they are as well accommodating like they accommodate in such a way that if even if you don't have or you didn't budget your accommodation fee and all that they wouldn't mind accommodating you for free like they are that lively and accommodating mm. and despite the fact that seashells is actually a place that is well accommodating we cannot take out the fact that it's a natural built place like it's naturally built like the 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 the, the, the tourist sites they are naturally built and aside that, even the thousands of oceans and islands that are there is something that is quite captivating of which by the time you get a, a, a glance of them, you wouldn't want to go elsewhere. Like you would want to be captured and as well be buried there just for, for the sake of, I mean, for the fun of it and, you know, enjoying the, 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 the environment, the fresh breeze that comes alongside with the ocean breeze and all of those things. Like it's something that one would want to dwell and probably even one wouldn't want to go back to whatever destination you are from. So for me, uh, Seashells is a place that I've been dreaming of. I think last week we, we talked about what country? What country was it? Wow. Um, I can't... <laughs> Canada. Canada. So I was saying that I, I, I said, I said I've gone. This time <laughs> so right around, now. this time around, 
I I won't lie that. So did you lie dreaming. last week? No, I said no, 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 no. Like I won't lie that I've not been to. I mean, seashells in my dreams. Of course, I have. But I think the fun part of seashells I'm supposed to explore. Mm. I think because of haters like you, I couldn't get to really explore them as such. But be, because of the anointing, you know, because of the anointing that has been led upon me. Anointing or annoying thing. <laughs> I'm a hater, right? I take Annoying that. I take, I take. I take that to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here no, for you. No, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, so you right? want to do this? Thing no, you said I'm a hater, right? How can I hate on someone that yeah, has not comes, traveled? How come? I was beginning to explore places like Anse. What's that again? <laughs> <laughs> Anse, whatsoever in, in the tourist attraction, and then just of sudden, I just woke up, and what? What am I seeing? Was what, that your what, what did I see? Your call. <laughs> Wow. If, if not for, if so not for I you, woke like you up you. from the dream. Yes, now it was your call that woke me up. If not, I would have been dwelling, you chilling, were, were flexing. Too much, so I think I needed, I, I needed to cut that. Yes, and I did. Which was, I'm not a hater. Why? Because if really you want to experience such a place, then you should go there. It is. You, Physically, you are, you not are, just you, in your you dream. You are ignorant of the fun that I was about to, I was about was to be I? engaged in. And which was why it was a thing of, I don't know, a pain, like much of, much of a pain for me. That look at me, look, look at me, look at the beach that I was supposed to enjoy myself with that then, just out of nowhere, that score came in. I'm no, sorry. I'm wondering, what's this I, I didn't, I didn't mean to, but maybe I just wanted you to have the experience, not just in your dreams, but physically. Maybe that was why. So, because I'm also so, having so, plans. So, 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 pragmatically, Hmm. By pragmatics, yes, I want to speak English. <laughs> you know when money is coming, you okay. have to speak English. Mm. So pragmatically, are you saying that you will sponsor me to go into Sicily? That would be a difficult thing to do. So far as you're going your to happen to the problem with your promises, <laughs> that they are beginning to pile up. They are beginning to pile up. How many promises? It's just one, which I know I can remember. I did it like it's not that I was I was sleeping or rather I was not conscious. Oh, I know what I was how saying. How come you know your promise? Have you executed yours? It's a very small thing that I can do. Why would you just do it and tell me? Okay, I've done mine. So it's even my you. producer, even our producer can do what I promised Why not you. tell your producer to do it? It's a small thing. <laughs> Mr. Solomon, Sam, I know you are listening to this right now. <laughs> he should actually carry it out for you, right? Anyways, he was not there when you made that promise, so then you should do it yourself. He, Just he, prove he me wrong. He inspired me. He inspired me. He's my inspiration, so he inspired wow. me. Wow, okay. Yeah. Anyways, talking about <laughs> let's, let's not divert. <laughs> talking about the seashell, um, the people in seashells, like, I just understand something about them. Okay, they said it's mostly dominated by women. Wow. True. And then when you talk about um, there's no shared responsibility between the genders, between the genders sure. because so far as even if they say women are more dominated, but at least they still have this respect for each other mm. in which one will have to do this. They don't need to say, okay, you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do that. Like everybody knows what he His or she is supposed to do. But, yes. So then when you talk about going to seashells, I think I'm excited to say I want to be in seashells today because of the experience. Mm. Mostly I tell people experience is the best teacher. And someone will say Most experience. Definitely is not just the best teacher because you need someone to work hand in hand with you in order to experience such what things you experience if things. you want to travel to a particular country why not tell yourself i want to do this i want to do that i want to do why not have it like okay i was saying um canada is in my bucket list now seashells is in it as well so which because one is your list canada still okay yes because i ask still me now, ask okay me. which is the space? reciprocal <laughs> <laughs> okay mine is seashells oh seashells it will okay. always be seashells yeah, I know because yeah, changes changes of course, right? Yeah, true. As, you as, might change as, it as, again. As week, it was Canada. Supposing you asked me, I would have said Canada. So now, right because now today we're talking about seashells, now yeah. seashells. Anyways, it's good to know about that. That it's good for you to have um, your choice of things and places to go to and things to do. Okay, we're going to talk about um, the tourist attractions, places people will want to go to to visit seashells, or rather, the, um, that's in seashells and things to do. We have the you are trying to say Anse. Anse is actually in seashells, not yeah, in Canada. No, no. No, I was, so no like, I was referring to she sells now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have the Ansel Lazio Parsley. Wow. Okay, this is um, a place where you will want to visit. It is one of the seashells' most beautiful beaches. Mm. And then you have to hike over a hill to access the beach, but trust us, it's worth the effort. So, of course, when you talk about visiting a particular country, you should know that when you're going to this particular country, it's actually a place for you to, for you to have fun. You said you plant around 
um, the granited um, boulders, this um, long stretch of soft blonde and merges with crystal clear waters and dreamy shades and all of that like the beauty of it alone is going to be enough for you to visit for you to have experience it's like it is so relaxing even when you are hungry or rather you feel you want to have a snack or anything they said there are restaurants both at the end of the beach and from the beginning so then you don't have a problem saying when you visit this particular place that you don't have something to do or rather you don't have food to eat even if you go empty-handed you still have something to count on you still have something to you said coconut tree and all of that will help you to relax the experiences that you have is just <coughs> something else so then i think this is one of the places one should visit and have fun you know talking i mean seeing this place bro is a place that i can really want to die in hmm. like wow. when i mean die like you, you die, die hellfire no you, you die and go to heaven direct okay because this is already like a heaven on earth okay so there is no way you would die in this place like this and go to hellfire like even if even if you are if you if you are someone that is already covered with multiple of sins, if you are garan so if you are opportuned <laughs> to die here, my brother and sister. So you, you your God will just forgive you. Just go. Your I'm sorry, you don't deceive people, please. <laughs> the fact that you find yourself in an amazing place. Well, like it's this. just an please. exaggeration. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to express how beautiful this place is. Yeah, like it's very a place beautiful. that you would want to go and you know just have the feeling of it and then explore yourself having feel the cold breeze having you know having yourself probably want to either uh, swim or you want to be involved in one activity or the other and all of that and then i think the best the best timing for one to, 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 to visit places, places like this are probably in the morning or late afternoon or probably in the evening or in the night as well so you can have the fun and you know be engaged into the activities that are being carried on there and then despite the fact that there are a lot of activities you are can as well be opportune to to look to to um, assess uh, restaurants too in case you are feeling hungry or you want to sleep or you even want to lodge you sleep there in the restaurant. no no i mean if you want to sleep in the lodge or oh, something okay. so there are places that you can you know assess and all that so i think it's a nice place to be in and the place that i was actually wanting to explore the first place to explore which your annoying car actually came in <laughs> But then I forgive you because I know it was the devil that used you. Thank you and devil can use anybody, so I'm wow. not blaming you. So I allowed the devil to use me. Most definitely. No problem. Thank so you the for second the place is Anse <laughs> Anse Intendance. That is one of the Maiz best beaches. And that this small and like it is small and secluded crescent of sand on the island south coast of is a favorite surfing spot. And then thanks to its frequent big swells and wild um, waves. And then while you, while you won't find a reef of scornel around at its pretty beach, there are plenty of other activities to keep you happily occupied. Mm -hmm. And when while beautiful and action packed this can be, this isn't the best beach for families. Mm -hmm. wow. That the lack of a protective reef makes swimming a little bit rough. And then when trade winds blow from the southeast, especially from June through September. And that they said that um, photographers will enjoy this historic and palm framed strand at any time of the year. So that is to say that it's a place that you are not really encouraged to swim, but then it's a picturesque place that you can take pictures. If you're a type like me that likes snapping pictures for the sake of memory and all that, it's a place that you would want to take pictures and you, know, you post them and all that. You know, it's, there's a difference between when you go to somewhere and then you are being captured in the picture and then people are like wow so this guy is chilling this guy is flexing and they'll be like wonder where is this and you'll be like oh my god this is seashells and then i'll <laughs> fold pictures like this linda and i'll be like oh my goodness i know you are hating on me but so while i'm already just, there or i'm not there you are not there now you'll be in this country of course and i'll be sending you pictures <laughs> to help me post on my facebook and do <laughs> okay i should help you to post because I, i'll be so it's busy good for you to have i'll be so busy with the activity so i'll just send you the pictures okay, okay linda I'll, Help me post these pictures on my Facebook, on my WhatsApp, on my. So this because and I'm that. your media personal, personal. True, 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 true. I'll send you. I, I could as well just. Send God will do one for you. I can do send you. I can so send you, you a stipend. So you don't need to tell me that. I can send you a stipend to just you know use anti whole body like. Hmm. You want to drink? Tippens. You want to drink wow. like pure water? You want to drink aqua bottled water? Or maybe something to just quench you. Ladik so Island. Person. 
the Ladik so Island I'm is that, of course because I need to <laughs> I, I need to leave you in that side because I think this answer intendance is where you want to be. But then let's talk about the Ladik Island. Okay. This is actually um, another island in which you want to for nature lovers actually because it said is a heaven for nature lovers. And then so if you are a nature lover, then this is one of the places you, you should, should find be. yourself. Said it is also a great place to visit for anyone seeking a glimpse of traditional island life bicycles and oscars are popular modes of transport that means um, get moving from one place to another this is one th this is one place you should find yourself like to have the fun and all of that they say stunning white sand beaches and granite rock outcrops rim the coast and beach connoisseurs will find one of the planet's most picturesque st um, stretches of sand and sea here that's this place you need to pay to, um, the access to the beach and all of that. Okay, that means when you get to this place, you need to pay to gain access to this place. Yet another sightseeing attraction is the, we have the, <laughs> the Vouvé Nature Reserve, which is home to the endangered Black Paradise Flycaster, also called the Widow, because of its streaming black tail feathers. So diving and rock climbing are also popular things to do on the island, and hikers will enjoy La Paz, um, La Paz to Grand Anse Trail, which trades past French colonial houses through woodlands and marsh areas to gorgeous Grand Anse Beach. This beach is actually. Do you um, know? Do you know? I when I saw this beach, do you know the first person that came to my mind to recommending this place to visit? No. Morugag. Why? He loves putting a piece. <laughs> <laughs> So I just feel wow. <laughs> like wow. I just feel it's a place that he can go and be inspired in whichever way you want to be inspired because this is a very lonely place <laughs> actually, of which if you if, if 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 you've been served breakfast. So you just you go there to go and, and you can go and find your <laughs> I don't know why you're saying this to Morgan, but it's fine. No one is going to serve him breakfast. I, did I say anything about And the breakfast he's going to receive is going to be a delicious meal in the morning. So whatever it is you're saying, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, all right. The Morgan, we've got a defense here. Yeah, yeah, the set, so on the set, so no problem. So another place to visit is the Cruise Island, which is more of like a day trip. <clears throat> and that's once known as the the Islay Rock due to its reset toned head. And then this cruise island is now home to a breeding program of giant tortoise, and which, which roam freely around the sounding coves. And then most of the island is covered with takamaka and then cruise, cruise sauna rina trees, which shade the white sand beaches. But the island is known for another botanical distinction. And then it's the only place beside the bristling where cocoa the mare palm tree grows naturally. And then the island was also once a Lipa colony, where you can explore the ruins of um, those that are, are victims of leprosy, and then as well as the doctor's house, preserved nationally monument. Like, th I think this place actually served a lot of purposes. Mm. Like, from what I just I, I just read, is a pl place from the name Cruz. That's what it is. Like you can as well cruise, but then the other purpose that it served are probably victims of those that were dead back then who were victim of say leprosy or being lepers or victim of being one like victim of being inflicted by one disease or the other, as such as leprosy, where you can go and gain say maybe um, um, I don't know treatments and all that. And from what I just read. Even when you go there, I think there is a preservation of the doctor's house as at that time, which is still to... which is still there. So if you happen to be suffering from one disease or the other, in faith, <laughs> in faith, I was about to say something, but fate, let me just let it be. In faith, go to Cruise Island, you will be healed. The by thing fate. is, I I just feel okay. Um, based on this, okay, what I just understand by this particular site attraction is that even if you are depressed, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're affected by any disease. It doesn't necessarily mean that you must have any issues. Maybe let's say no, health wise joking, no. and all of that. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I understand that there are places you find yourself you want to just sit alone. Like you said, Morgan loves to wear earpieces. It's a lonely Thank place God, and all of that. No, I'm only saying that if you find yourself in such a place, you just need to enjoy enjoy it there are people that love quiet places you understand like most times you just want to sit in such a place just to maybe to just reflect on a lot of things true, true. you find yourself in a particular place like, like over. 
Do you understand? So then it's mostly, okay, there are places you should visit for particular Instead issues. Instead of thinking of suicidal thoughts, come here and think about your life. Maybe you've been you're occupied with a lot of carryovers, peelings, and all those things. You can come here and think about your life. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, you <laughs> You go back and start it. What should you think of carrying over and spill? Oh, Lord. Okay, anyways, we have the Monsichelos National Park. This is actually another park. This is a park where you can go to. They said it is the largest national park in Seychelles. So that was I said. This is one of the places where you can find yourself covering more than 20% of the area of Mahé. He said within its lush borders lies the mountain chain named after its highest point. They said um, this um, park, which reaches a height of... 905 meters and overlooks the capital of Victoria, in which I know that the capital of Seychelles is Victoria, right? Mm. And then we have, um, right? I think um, within, okay, um, wildlife includes several notable species of birds, including the seashells, copes, or, and then the bubble and the sunbird and the lush vegetation varies from several species of endemic palms to pandanus picture plants and ferns said so you will find some of the best hikes on the island here hiking trails are sent into the park from the village of danzil passing tea plantations and offering spectacular views of the southwest coast of mahe from the mountain slopes the moderate mont black hike is one of the most popular trails and offers spectacular views from its summit and then walking west through the park hikers will reach the bill um, Turney and Port Loney Marine Parks to the northwest lies the hamlet. And then um, it's actually a place. Okay, now I said this is one, of, I think this is the biggest or rather the largest national park. park in the of the so then, whatever it is you're looking for, I'm very sure you get it in this particular <laughs> park. Whatever, you're looking. whatever animal. Okay, let's say animal actually. <laughs> you find it there because it said um, it said 20% of the area in my hay or rather off my hay. So then I, I believe that when you find yourself in such place, any animal you're looking for, since it's the largest, of course, you should contain all of them <laughs> that's what i believe i can't though. attest to what you guys say you know? <laughs> i said i agree all i know is should be. all i know is with some of the uh, the names she mentioned earlier regards species of pets species of tortoise, lions and some of these white animals like you can as well see them there but then that doesn't guarantee you seeing every, every of the animal, animal like all of that so i feel you can just go there and enjoy yourself Ex just explore the nature uh, have yourself feeling the nature of you being there and then experience, I mean, experiencing things yourself. You know, there's this thing when someone tells you about the story of a place, and then the difference, or the, 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 they are differently hits you when you are there yourself, instead of hearing the story. So it shouldn't be a place that we are telling you the story relate. of, but then you go there, experience it, come back and tell those that would wish to go there, the, 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 the stories and all that, so that they will also be encouraged to go there. So I think for me, it's actually a fun thing for me to explore places like this, especially forests. But then I'm scared of snakes too, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't explore. So if you are a victim of, say, you uh, you, you, you have phobia of one thing or the other as regards animal, that doesn't mean you shouldn't explore. So you explore, see the and new things careful, for yourself. Actually. And be careful, yeah, be careful because even because of the fact that you are being scared of something should hinder you from, you know, having yourself uh, engaged into activities as such as that. So aside that, we have the Beru Vallon Beach. Let's say beach. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Beru Vallon Beach. And this is an alluring place, which is filled up with a lot of glittering sound. And then on the Mahi's northwest coast is a magnet for both tourists and locals. Looking out to the sea, mountainous um, island shimmers or on the horizon, providing a picturesque view. And if you are looking for a buzzing beast action, this is a good choice. Hotels and restaurants fringe the shores, and on weekends, locals come here to beach barbecues. You will also find a variety of water spots on offer here, including jet skies, water skying, banana um, boats, and then pedal boarding. So there are a lot of activities here. You can swim, you can sky, you can do banana boats. I don't know what that looks like. Okay, I think I have an idea. It's just <laughs> this normal boat, normal canoe, the one we call canoe. So mm -hmm. There's a difference, the difference between canoe and boat. boat. And then ferry. <laughs> <Johnny>. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel this banana boat is canoe. Okay. So you can, you know, there's this difference when you have, then having more of like trying to feel water, trying to yeah, put your sure. hands on the surface of the water and all of those things. I think. That's the kind of feeling you get when you board 
boat the, like the this. The only activity I want to do in this place is just the barbecue part. Because you love the beach barbecue. Of course. You like, like, food parts, what? You no, food. like, I'm just saying, these this are one of the activities that you can so have. So, you, know, you, you, can can, you, can, you can't go water skying. You no, can't I just want to go for the barbecue because it is, they said there are varieties of um, sports activities and all of true. that. Activities for you to do. Then I just choose to do my own activity, should be me. No, like, let me just go now. for the. No, <laughs> it's like <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I'm actually no, going to. You are to going do there with the motive to go and eat meat. Of course. I'm going to eat meat. Like, are they going to stop me from eating meat? They said you can do that. You are buying so it, then, my sister. You are no not problem. So far as I'm going to eat it, I'm going to, like. Do you understand? Do you know what it means for you to find yourself in a particular place where you see meat <laughs> and there's water tell inside me more, it? Please, tell me there more. are hotels, restaurants, and all of that. Like you can just gain access to all of these things. Hmm. Like it's just interesting to know that when you find yourself in such countries, why not explore? True. Like why not just have the fun? Like. We always say you only live once. Yolo. If you have the opportunity to actually do all these things, why not do it? Have mm. fun. Like, go on um, the hiking, skiing, and all of that. Like, just have the fun and then, like, just feel yourself. Be happy. I always say you are your own happiness. Mm. So that if you have mm. the means to do up. it. <laughs> I told you I'm going to start a site, right? I'm going to be a motivational speaker, and I'm going to start motivating you, especially. Do, do I look less motivated? <laughs> <laughs> we have the Ansevolbert. They said um, this particular place is one of the in, um, is one of the island's most popular beaches. Again, True. warm, shallow second, water lab, second, second most, yes, second, second most. most. And then the sun bleached sands and coral reefs become just offshore. The calm waters are also safe for swimming with small children. Mm. Like okay, the other one they said you can't really swim in it, but this one you can actually swim even with small children. So then it's safe for them. It's the beach is also a popular starting point for many day cruises and other island excursions. Mm. The the um the Volbert is one of the island's main resort areas, and you'll find many hotels and restaurants lined. Lining the, the shores, shores, including the hotel club court and um, Tashed bungalows. Tucked amid the tropical foliage. Okay, fine. This is another place that you can find yourself. In, if you cannot swim in the if other you want place, to learn you how can to find. People like Linda, I don't know how to swim. You, you don't need to, to cast me, this but is it's a site fine. To which you can do all of this. You can learn, and then you be an expert. Probably you. I'm not saying, but then you can. And you know, this answer. I want to educate you now. <laughs> Don't and educate me on anything. <laughs> Just go to the next site attraction. Thank you very much. All right, all right, all right, all right. You know, when someone is not learned, they wow, be, wow, they I'm not learned. learned. <laughs> no problem. I agree. I agree. Thank let's, you very much. Let's go on a break. I think we should go on a break. And <laughs> okay, now you want to go on a break, right? <laughs> no problem. I'm out for you. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to take a time out now, and when we come back, we're going to tell you more about seashells. I hope you're having fun with us stay back and don't touch that dime we'll be right back Welcome back. It's still the Midday Show Live on Yako Television International. If you're just joining us, please sit back, relax, and have fun with us. We're talking about seashells, and I still have Tony in the studio. Me, welcome back. Tony. YOLO. <laughs> you, you only, only live, live once. once. <laughs> okay, um, we'll be saying things about um, seashells and all of that. Okay, another thing again, okay, another <coughs> side attraction that I wanted to talk about was the bird island. Mm. I think there was another part you said they have different species of mm -hmm. birds, mm -hmm. and then here you said um, the, the bird island, once known as the Lies who's <laughs> like the pronunciation of all these it's botanical all these French, names. All these, all these yes, names, yeah. so the area of the island is filled with different kind of birds, over a million. Hmm. And then um, they have their own seasons in which they come in and how they are breeding. And then all of that, like this, is another place that you want to just go and have the experience. Like just see how the birds are just in the sky and then flying from one place to another. They said the giant land turtle is also 
is known in the residents and nearby seashells bank is we own for its big game fishing and all of that but then particularly is the birds that is actually inviting like the noise of the birds like how they sing and all of that is is actually something that you want to experience mm. yourself like you just want to see how they fly from one place to another and how they do their <coughs> things the way you just see how they move like it's just so interesting to know and i said um you should have um some things you should know before going to seashells True. Well, I don't want to really say much on this valley, the Maid National Talk, National Park. National Park. <laughs> because you've said a lot. I think it comprises just of uh, birds and varieties of them. Yeah. I'm not really, really a fan of birds, so I wouldn't want to have I much to birds. say about it. So we have the nest as um, the Cousin Island day trip. I don't know if it is cousin or cousin because it is spelled as cousin. cousin. So they said it's one tiny bird is responsible for the preservation of this beautiful island and that the rest seashells were war, warbler. Then Cousin Island Special Reserve was established in the 1968 to protect this rare species as well as many other endemic bird species. And it is also the most important nesting site in the entire Western Indian Ocean for the Critically endangered turtle, and then Cousin Island is also the world's first carbon neutral natural reserve. And the island lies about two kilometers from Braslin Island, and you can organize a day trip through local tour operators. Once you arrive on the island, one of the reserves, sorry, one of the reserves warden will take you on an approximately seventy-five minute tour. Sharing details about the island unique sorry island's unique ecology. Keep an eye keep an eye out for some of the resident beds, including the seashells magpie robin and then the seashells brush webler. Like there are a lot of beds here and I think it's just um, peculiar to sea seashells. Probably you can't see some of the varieties of these uh, beds somewhere else if it is not, not in the seashells. Seashell. So, I think it's a very nice place to go, knowing the fact that they have a warden that will take you on an no, take you on a tour for about six seventy five minutes. And I feel wow, more than an hour. Yeah, I think it's an hour. So more than an hour. More so I think it's, it's a nice place to go, and you know, you have yourself educated about different species of of birds. Yeah, we have um, some things people should actually look out for before traveling to seashells. They said the nature. They said this is the nature's finest creation. The serene seashells landscape and the Indian Ocean are as enthralling as they come. Seashells is an elixir in an otherwise chaotic world. Warm water and white beaches are packed. The weather of the island is an added attraction. Hmm. So the weather as well. That's why I said if you love nature, seashells is one of the places you should visit. So in case if you don't have plans of going to seashells, please put it in your bucket list because this is one of the places you should visit before leaving this world. Like just go and experience it, have fun, and then know what it means to be in seashells. Hmm. And then nextly we have... Um costly like it, there are a lot of things that are costly there and that <laughs> it's that, that this is something you must know because seashells is not a budget destination mm. so and even if you have a budget then <laughs> it means you can have, you are going to go out of your budget most because definitely. it's going to be more than it and then one of the most important things to know before going to seashells is that it is an expensive Pensive place but then Money is made to be spent. Mm. You don't make money and <laughs> keep it. You keep Actually, make money you and, and spend, spend it. it. So please go and enjoy yourself in me seashells, Jerry. And then for a budget traveler, there's going to be a juggle between a really expensive place and a little less expensive place. Accommodations ranges from luxurious villas and apartments to standard suites and hotel rooms. Then, however, prices are higher than the usual hotel rooms than even the food is not cheap. Wow. So me like this, I will not be able to get to <laughs> eat food. As you that like much food, I like this is so, I like so, the fact so that you're making an instance with yourself <laughs> because you know you like food. <laughs> and that rest restaurant bills can be pretty high though. Mm. And then a little bit of research is needed before you embark on a visit. You can curtail prices by taking guide guided bus tours, which are great bargains and even flight tickets are costly so if you are looking out for tickets Biko, keep an eye on the discount that <laughs> oh, no. most international, international flights, flights provide. Can provide don't go and do pass yourself people like me now i've known now 
that if I'm going to seashells, I must have to help me with the, me with the <laughs> have a budget. No, it's not about budget. <laughs> you must because have Because if you have budget, you will, you of course go beyond what you've mm -hmm. budgeted. So just go with extra. Like, just don't even go with budget. Just go and spend just have money something and come to back. fall back. To. Just go and spend money and come back. <laughs> Chicken. You know? Anyways, malaria. This is just interesting to know. This particular thing they said seashells doesn't have the anopheles mosquito. Hmm. Wow, and hence malaria I is an I, unknown I can't forget disease. This name. I anopheles this <laughs> on the uh, on the island. It may be because of the weather, the landscape, or simply because the archipelago the the archipelago pride, <laughs> prides itself. itself on cleanliness. I always think yeah, anopheles um, mosquito is usually like it dominates dirty places. And for the fact that wow. the seashells is not really a dirty place, is why you can't find them there. So I think that's just the best definition. No, I, it, it just, uh, now I'm just thinking that like, places where you have someone say, I have malaria and all of that. Like <laughs> now, do you know what? Are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? Wow. It could be Anyways, a result of it's dirty interesting environment. to know. True, it's interesting to know that seashells does not have that. Mm. And then, so it, that it means if you're traveling to seashells, then you're safe from true, malaria. True, And I think we, uh, that's the next thing to talk about, which safety. is safety. That is actually a very safe place to be. Being an international destination, she sell takes security very, very Seriously. seriously. And they have a street watch on everything. Tourists have nothing to worry about. However, the basic tenet of traveling remains keep your eyes and mm -hmm. ears wherever you go. Mm -hmm. It's I think this is very essential. You shouldn't be so relaxed that and careless. You know, careless that the place is a very nice, safe place, and then you should just have yourself languished in relaxation or enjoyment or whatever but then keep your eyes open and then keep your as well ears open so that whenever the need may be for you to either run or whatsoever you should be on alert sure we have the seashells weather so the weather is one of the things to know before going to seashells of course the best time to visit seashells is in april may october and november like right now is actually the time the for you to time, visit yeah, seashells seashells is a tropical country and it's usually hot and humid all year round so these four months see a transition from the hot and humid northwest trade winds to the cooler southeast trade wind. So then um, the, the, the monsoons are from November and um, to March and are generally humid and uncomfortable. So if you are looking at a particular cooler season, you will be disappointed. Despite the seashells weather, the country provides enough for it to be one of the most visited destinations in the world. We said um, Canada is actually one of the countries where people want to visit, like one of the best places for people to visit. But then this particular, okay, I think I Canada think, does think, not have a particular I time. Think like, my problem, I think my problem to all of this is that it's lack of orientation. By the time people are more oriented, like uh, are, are more exposed to the knowledge, knowledge of seashells, mm -hmm. people would even want to to tour seashells than having toured um, Canada. I think it's just the exposure. People yeah. exp like people are more explored, or probably sorry, exposed to to the knowledge of um, Canada, Canada, which is why people explore or probably tour Canada than seashells. So it's to me it boils down to orientation. And aside that, we have the food. You like food now. Of course. That's now. why you just jump can into you survive, food. Can you survive without food? Um, have it's you? It's not uh, possible. Actually, it's not possible, but... Um, Even the Bible says you can only live by... Bread alone. So I don't understand. What does it... <laughs> you see why I was saying... They always tell me that I should not tell you. Tell me more about the Bible. Now look at it. We're talking about food. We're saying man should not live by bread alone. So please, can you please relate? put this together? It's not my fault. It's this food. <laughs> Anyways, food um, now, so. talking about food, of course you can't talk about traveling Without and you know, not thinking food. of food. Yeah. Of course, we said the places you can visit, there are restaurants beside it where you can go and have something sure. to eat. So now we're going to talk about food. And then the first thing here, we have the grilled fish. Yeah. I used to say I love fish. Or rather, um, if you're eating and you don't have something to motivate, that's the motivator in the food. There should be something it's that you're looking Do you understand? Like something that you know that you're going to have. Like, you know, like it's more like um, a race. Like you're running a race that you're going to And award that you're going to collect at the end. So then grilled fish should be on the top most priority while trying dishes from the seashells cuisine of course i'll have to try this being an island country the taste of the grilled fish here is unparalleled the fish is so juicy and full of flavors pick your favorite fish from a vast variety of red snapper job fish jackfish 
and selfish. There is nothing more you would want to go along with local chilled drink Coke. and the views of the ocean. Local chilled Coke. Like, I always say that your meal can never be perfect without Coke. That is for people who love Coke. But then I just feel like... Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> like, grilled fish, just look at how beautiful it is. Like, the taste of... So this is one of the meal. This is one of the things you should taste and you find yourself in sh like seashells. These, these are kind of things you see, and even if you are not a lover of them, because of how enticing they are to you, you would want to have a taste and be caught to even devour them more than ordinarily. So I feel it's it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it is. Then we have the breadfruit, and then if you are um, more of like a vegetarian, and then you happen to be in seashells, that breadfruit chips are made exceptionally for you, and then breadfruit is a type of a tropical fruit which is abundantly available on the island and the creole people consume the versatile that sorry consume the versatile fruit in various forms and one of which is the bread fruit fruit chips the lightly sorted fried chips are the stable mounting snack of the island people then grab a packet and munch on the snacky delight while you are sightseeing around the ocean or the island then get a few packets to get for your homies too. So please, so when, when you try when to I'm get traveling, this, when I'm traveling, when I'm traveling, when yeah. I eventually, like, I want to make a point, please. Don't get it for me. I don't want I'm, it. I don't want Thank to get you. it for you. I, have I don't I want, want. Who don't get it for? I want to get it for Jude. Because I know you have, no, I know you have not eaten bread before. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get it for Jude. <laughs> Everybody has suffered in your hands. Yes. But it's fine. Yes. The octopus curry. curry. The octopus curry. Wow. You know okay. Do you get octopus? Like, <laughs> um, if you can try the spicy octopus curry during your stay on the island, it is one of the most famous dishes on the list mm. of Seychelles traditional food. Mm. So then, the locals are in love with the dish, and so are the tourists. Get past the ma the mainstream chicken, fish, and mutton curry, and try something new to surprise your taste buds. This one is the local food, though. Yeah, of course, the local food, they said it is um, the octopus curry. So, they said it's local. So, it's one of the meals you should actually try when you find yourself in seashells. Yeah, Locals are in love with it and also it's, tourists. Oh, my God. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> <It> is where? <well. laughs> <laughs> then we have the shark shootney. And, oh, yes, this is made with mashed shark meat. While we, in, sorry, why the Indians shark have a variety of veg vegetarian shark knees? The she cell people have taken the shortening game up a top, like they've made it a top, top notch. notch. And then these creoles boil and then match shark meat it, and then mix it with uh, bilimbi, bilimbi, that is the local, local fruit. fruit. Then we have lime, onions, turmeric, and then you can easily find it at any creole restaurant to serve along with your main dishes. Sometimes they substitute shark meat with dry fish. fish. It looks good though for people that can. Yeah, eat this it. is actually very good. Like it, it looks, looks like, like uh, the, fried eggs. Yeah, it's like um, scrambled eggs. Okay, scrambled eggs. Sorry. <laughs> we have um, the satini. Um, satini we, um, is not all about seafood and bazaar meat. You can also enjoy a, a solubrious salad like satini along with your meal. The traditional satini is made with the finely grated ingredients like unripe fruits like um raw um papaya, papaya or golden apple and mixed with spices and onion however a word of caution since the salad is super high on the spiciness level because of the chilies in it the non-vegetarian version is made with shark meat or fish the salad is usually served with main course dishes so of course it goes with your dish so and then he said um it's been made differently because of the spices so for people who do not love peppery meals so of course there can actually be a change for you and something you can actually have with it mm, this looks good and it's, it's something that is worth trying for the True. fact that it's more of like a vegetarian food. Are you a vegetarian? To some extent, I am. I'm mm. a lover of vegetables. Okay. So, <clears throat> the next food on the list is the lab dope. That if you want to, probably if you are lucky enough to be in seashells, that you should end your, your meal or your exploration to try new meals with a sumptuous Creole meal as lap dope and then it's a delectable seashell dessert 
made with either bananas or sweet potato and coconut milk and that the fruit is cooked in coconut milk and sugar flowered with nutmeg and then fresh vanilla and the, the dessert is so creamy and soft that you will definitely lack sorry you will definitely ask for a second serving of course mm. this looks inviting so you will definitely ask for a it's second. milky yeah true like it milky like donuts <laughs> You see, that's the problem I have with you. <laughs> <laughs> you always want to show yourself, but it's fine. I, I understand. It's not my fault. I understand. It is food. The thing is, when you get, um, um, this is more like a dessert for you. Mm. Like when you finish everything, like you just have something that you can just relax yourself and then having this side is very soft that you would definitely ask for very a soft and second succulent. serving. Of course, I would definitely ask for it because this is not something that you say you're going to eat and be satisfied. True. So, of course, something is going to go well and then you just relax yourself and just have it after me. We have the Karis Masala. If you are missing the flavors of Indian food in seashells, worry not because the Creole Karis Masala has got you covered. A lot of Creole um, cuisine, which includes curries, is influenced by Indian flavors. The, the Karis Masala is a Creole version of Indian vegetarian seashells curry made with an electric mix of veggies and a combination of spices like fenugreek, the saffron, the cumin, cloves, and coriander. Wow. Hmm. The names are it alone. So <laughs> <laughs> the names are it alone. So I don't think there is any other thing to say. But this name masala sounds like masa to me. So maybe it's maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just move the la from the last and then just have masa. Wow. <laughs> So, Anyways, um, we've talked about a lot of things about seashells. I always say that if you have the means of traveling, like leaving your environment, like you don't just go to a place where you're not safe. Mm. You just go to a place where you risk your life. You always find yourself in a particular place where you know that your safety is well guaranteed. Um, guaranteed. Like we talked about um, seashells and then we said their safety. Like the they always want to look out for you. Mm. So then the fact that we're saying it's safe for you to travel does not mean you should be careless. So whenever it is you find yourself in such a country or rather any country you find yourself, try your best to be careful and to take care of the things you have with you so you don't end up saying um, I misplaced this thing or rather this thing is not with me and all of that. Always try your best to be at a lot no matter what. Hmm. Personal Thank you, advice of a <laughs> television. <laughs> Thank you for doing this with me. As Tony. usual. As usual, you can't do it alone. So why why wouldn't I be there for you? I'm your person. Even in as much as you want to be my hater, by all means, I'm still your person. God and bless you. you can do about God it. bless. Thank you for being on the media <laughs> show. To our viewers out there, we want to say a very big thank you to you for staying with us for like a couple of minutes to just get what we have to tell you about seashells. Please do have yourself a nice day. Bye for now.